My name is Jaja and I'm glad to come your way with another video. In today's video, I'm going to take you through the basic stages of my charcoal drawing. So let's get straight into it. With a pencil, I'm going to use a soft charcoal pencil and a charcoal powder. And we're also going to use the kneadable eraser, the blending stump and a brush. And for the paper, we'll use a constant drawing paper. I'm starting with a freehand sketch of my reference photo. I usually start the freehand sketch by drawing the four lines of symmetry on the reference photo in a drawing area. So this kind of hybrid style that I've developed over the years. It speeds up the drawing and enhances precision. I then use my pencil to measure the reference photo and transfer it to the drawing space. I believe it's good to start big and work small, so I'll start the drawing with the blocking method and draw the details later. This hybrid freehand method has been very helpful over the years. This particular drawing is full of darker values. We're going to start by using a brush to block in the darker areas and create a base layer for the shading. This is not necessary if you want to develop the drawing in bits from a specific area. We can now go ahead and use a soft charcoal pencil to work on the darkest areas. And it's done for several reasons. First, we can easily spread or blend those darker values to get mid and light tones without necessarily shading those areas with pencil. And again, it speeds up the drawing. Kindly take a second to subscribe and like to promote this channel. We will blend with a blending stump and later use the brush to spread charcoal powder on the shoulder. You should be careful when you're blending charcoal. If it's not carefully done, you can ruin the lighter areas of the drawing with charcoal marks from the charcoal residue. And to the next stage, personally, this is the best part of the drawing. We're going to use the needle breweries as a pencil to create more toner values and details on the face. And I can see about three different toner values on the cheek and the nose, which I can easily get by using the kneadable eraser. It takes time to do it, but it's worth it. I'm going to use the eraser to develop the nose, ear and lips too. When developing the toner values with kneadable eraser, you should make sure the erasing part is broader and flatter. If the edge is too pointed, it will be difficult to get a smooth toner value. I usually need pointed edges for drawing details and hair strands. And again, to develop texture in a drawing, the kneadable eraser and a blending stump can be used interchangeably by erasing and blending layers. This is very helpful for skin texture. We will get to the soft charcoal pencil and use it to draw more details on the face looking up. It has more lighter values than the one below. And it's time for us to get to the shoulder. We've already used a brush for the first layer shading and we have the various values on the shoulder. We can now use a needle eraser for the details. And the more time you spend with a needle eraser, the more realistic effect you're likely to get. Let's use a brush to shade a faint part of both heads.
With the illusion of this portrait, let's use the soft charcoal pencil to bring out the beard and the eyelashes of the head looking up. And I think this is going to be simple. We will just draw a few hair strands. And that's okay. And if you want to learn how to draw hair, kindly check on the link in my description box. Kindly take a second to subscribe and like to promote this channel. I appreciate your subscription. We'll finally add few touches and call it done. I really enjoyed drawing this portrait and I hope you do. And I would also appreciate your drawing related comments, questions and suggestions.